Actually, I started making drawings whenever I was on the residency that I did in Holland. Um, I definitely wouldn't have been allowed to make drawings in Newcastle. <laughs> um, and it was, it, was, it was a way, a practicality of just explaining ideas that I had or trying to create an atmosphere or explain more than words could what, what an idea might be before it's actually made. Um, and they were just sketches of sculptures like that for quite a long time. And then whenever I started doing taxidermy, then that kind of combined with it. And I started using pieces of paper underneath the animals whenever I'm doing the skinning of the animal and then making marks on the page. And then that would be the basis for drawings. Um, and then the actual draw, like do, making the drawings on top of that was quite often quite directly related to the sculptures that the animals were part of. So they're not, they weren't illustrations as such. They were sometimes with a sculpture, especially a suspended thing. Um, the level of precision that I could achieve or the form isn't necessarily the same as what you could do with a drawing, so it's sort of like a different avenue of the same idea. I did a, a, an exchange in Holland for three months, and whereas in Newcastle, no matter what you made, basically they said it was shit, and in Holland, no matter what you made, they said it was amazing, so I realised actually this is just somebody's opinion. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily reflect reality, it's just an opinion, so it, it enabled me to see that I should just do what I think seemed like, just try and absorb the information but don't necessarily believe it. Whenever I was at university and whenever I was starting out, I was really self-confident but I probably shouldn't have been. And then, I, you know, whenever you're younger, you think you know all of the things. And then as time goes on, you realise that you don't know any of the things. <laughs> so I don't know if that results in a lack of confidence now, or maybe I've become confident in the fact that I don't know anything. Yeah. I think I just always had a determined, I, I don't know if confidence really came into it, I was just always really determined, this is what I'm going to do. So whenever I graduated from uni, I didn't even wait to, for someone to offer me an exhibition, I just decided I'm going to organise my own exhibition and went and organised this thing that was quite elaborate actually. I just didn't really like look outside myself. I just wanted to, to, to do it. The work that I've decided to make is really complicated in logistical ways, which is my own fault. It's really, really hard work. You don't really have any time for anything else in life. Like each year I think, oh, I'll have more time to actually see friends and stuff this year and then each year it's like okay well there's a period of four months where I'm just not going to go outside the house and then I'll have time and then you get to that point and then you've got like two weeks and then it just starts again and there's it's just kind of ongoing. I don't have any ideas in my head of something that I want to make that I haven't made yet. I, I, I never really get to the point of having time to even get that far. I've got sort of half ideas and stuff drawn on my wall and eventually they... I was fine with ideas that I have... that I hope to make that aren't related to a project. Eventually a project comes around and they kind of fit into it in some shape or form, not necessarily exactly the same thing. Um, but I'd, I'd like to have more time to do painting and drawing as well as the sculptural stuff. I actually just started working on some paintings which are much more large in scale and much more like paintings rather than drawings than anything that I've done before um, and I find it very scary but very exciting to do that because 
just because I don't know, I don't know it. Like some with my sculptural work, as far as the things that I'm making now, I actually I know the process of it inside out. So there's an aspect of it where it's kind of easy, but maybe too easy. Um, but then that also opens up different doors because I can make things that are more complex and so on. The drawings and the paintings that I've been making recently are definitely outside comfort zone stuff. Um, yeah, I'm quite exciting because of that actually. <laughs>